it is 7 36. I self tan and I haven't showered off my self tan so that is why I look crazy but happy Monday welcome back to a week in my life vlog I am so excited to be doing a week in my life vlog we did vlog week last week there just hasn't been a week in my life vlog and forever and these are my personal faves if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe it is Monday morning I am trying to wake up early again I woke up at 6 30 actually naturally I Took the dogs out, I listened to um, Super Soul Sunday with Teeny Jakes, and then I just did my Devo. I'm about to go on a run. I'm actually gonna go outside because it's not that bad right now. Today I'm working on some really exciting stuff and I'm recording, um, yeah, I'm just really excited for this week. It's gonna be good. I'm working on a lot of other videos and just like really working on my content. And I feel like everything is just getting so much better. So anyways, love you guys, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this week of my life vlog. All right, it's like 8, 10, I'm home for my run. I'm dead. Um, I'm glad it wasn't like 100 degrees out this morning though. But anyways, I'm gonna do my Melissa Wood Health workout for today. I'm gonna follow her plan exactly this week. I normally just pick random videos, but this week I'm gonna follow the plan. All right guys, it's 9.30. I just got ready. Did my hair with my Dyson Airwrap. Feeling like really on top of the world, you know? And I did a full face of makeup. I'm gonna be filming today at some point. Big work from home day. Um, this is what I'm wearing. I got the Comfort Colors t-shirt off Amazon. Uh, Julie Havens always talks about these. And then I got one and it's amazing. I'm gonna order like 15. I got a size large. I wish I already got an XL. Um, just because I like things like absurdly large. And then I just have some biker shorts from Aritzia and then I just put on my slides because I'm about to take fits out. Playing some jazz, just made some breakfast. So good. All right guys, we're in my office and very exciting news. Caleb mounted my TV for me this weekend. Um, I have cord, well I don't have cord covers yet. They're actually in the mail, so. I'll be able to make this look better. I actually you just showed up with Starbucks for me. I'm trying a new order that I saw on my friend Jess's Instagram story today. Dark chocolate almond milk foam cold brew. Definitely really need caffeine right now. Getting a lot of work done and then Q and I are actually starting to work on something new that by the time you guys see this will literally be out within the week. So stay tuned. I think you guys are really going to be excited for it. But um, he's helping me with that. So we're just going to like sit down and plan a bunch and then start filming for that and then also we have a beautiful perfect bar guys Vince was just making noises in his sleep he's dreaming he's dreaming oh, his paws his paws he's so cute okay Q is here we're just busy at work how do you feel feeling good woke up we got Starbucks for the first time in a long time well I got it hashtag drive through and yeah, it's a really productive Monday, Monday morning. I know. Doesn't it not feel like Monday today? It feels like t Wednesday or Tuesday. It feels like Wednesday or Thursday to me. I don't know why. So weird. Today has been a great day. I just recorded with Emma Leger. It's not Ledger or Ledger or whatever everyone thinks it is. Okay, my AirPods case just fell. She just like, I've already been like upping my Instagram game if anyone's noticed. But um, now that I talked to her, the queen of Instagram, uh, and weekly vlogs, honestly, I am like, okay, well, I'm shooting tonight already. I gotta get this thing, you know. It's 1.30 right now. I just recorded. Q and I got a lot of stuff done for this new project that is coming out so soon. I literally hate that I'm that person right now. This is the new thing. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, there's a secret project coming. And then like that was annoying. And then it's like, oh my gosh, there's a secret project coming. Sorry, this is so annoying. I hate to be that person. And then now I'm like the next layer of that. Um, but like just follow me on Instagram give it a few days and you guys will see the hint that I will be giving you Is it is like a faith-based thing? So I think a lot of you guys are gonna be really excited um, Even if you're like not into that sort of thing. It's very like uplifting and encouraging Like I think you I think regardless you'll like it. Hey guys, welcome to the So anyways in about 30 minutes, we're gonna film a few things for that really quick Then I'm gonna teach Q a few things and then um, I already have some outfits planned out my office. I've been trying to like get really uh, refocused again on my stuff. Just went to plan some outfits and I just steamed my clothes, guys. I'm a real adult. All right, guys. We just took some pictures. We're about to film. We need a chair. We are about to film for something cool, but this is freaking, we can't even have this stand on. Guys, if any of you know in Dallas where to get, or just in general, where to get an expensive lighting for houses, I need to replace everything in my house though. Oh, that's the other house project I need to do. It literally never ends, guys. I just listed off like 15 more things. 
finish the video. I'm gonna take some more pictures. I'm really working on um, my Instagram and just kind of treating things more as my job because they are. Oh my gosh, guys, wait, look at how big Fitz has gotten. Ginormous. He's so big. He's so big. Aren't you so big? He just went outside. Literally huge. So, oh, our spot is here. We have lunch. This is great, guys. We always say we're gonna stop ordering Chipotle, but we said today will be our last day, and it will be because I'm saying it to you guys. But DoorDash code down below, you guys can get free credit. All right, guys, we are in the office. Q's here. Um, I suddenly just feel horrible, but um, I'm going to teach him how to do some stuff. And yeah, gosh, my stomach hurts so bad. So it is currently like five something. Out of nowhere, I just started feeling horrible. It probably has to do with the fact that I didn't even end up eating lunch and I just ate a perfect bar and a cold brew and I never do this anymore. But when I'm really focused at home and I'm working from home, I forget to eat and I drink a lot of caffeine and it was just like not good. Awesome smoothie king, it's so freaking big. I get this size because it's free delivery. So then I end up actually saving money if I get the bigger one. But I got this smoothie king to revive me. I don't feel great at all. I was actually supposed to go do some stuff, some work stuff tonight and honestly rescheduling that till tomorrow because I need to like do some computer work and go to sleep. But I do have a very exciting package that I just got Smoothie King on from Girlfriend Collective. I have two orders from them currently in. I've been waiting for them to restock like for months, honestly. I will have all these pieces linked below. Oh, this is cute. Okay, I've never actually ordered from Girlfriend. I've just heard the best things, but I have two bags like this. I don't know which order this is exactly. So cute. So I got these lilac colored sweats that I love. Oh, this is so cute. And then this lilac sports bra, I, even, I forgot I even had these. I'm gonna link them down below, but oh my gosh. This is okay, it says that we're Girlfriend Collective. We make activewear from recycled materials because old water bottles and fishing nets look better on you than they do polluting the earth. So they're made in ethical factories that guarantee fair wages, free catered meals, and a safe and healthy workplace, you know, like how it should be. So. It's a great company. Um, I love this look. I have one more. I really wanted the neutrals. Like I want so much stuff from them. I'm obsessed with their stuff, but um, they were sold out in my sizes. Then I got yellow, which I don't normally wear yellow, so we'll see how this works. Um, this cute little cropped jacket that I love. Some, uh, what is this? Oh, I forgot I even had, got this, guys. This is such a random thing for me, but they had this little bodysuit thing, and I don't know how flattering it's gonna be in a yellow color but uh we will see i will <laughs> i will try it out it actually does seem very form-fitting and flattering though just by the material and how it's cut update guys this is like extremely flattering and it really hugs you in tight i don't love the color i wish i had this in like a neutral but it is so comfortable the material is incredible and it's just like extremely flattering like normally something like this i don't think would be like the most flattering on me but um no it's actually incredible and it really sucks you in and then I got this skirt, which I love tennis skirts. So I think this with the top, um, I think that's super cute. So I'm gonna edit some of the footage from today and just get some computer work done. I'm really excited. I was feeling like I was kind of in a slump and just, you know, COVID. And then I came out with genius projects. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight. Kinsey P, stay healthy, so cute. Guys, exciting stuff. We now have a collaborative playlist. I will have it linked down below. So basically you guys can all add songs to it. It's Yeehaw Breadwinning Housewife Vibes only. Also, I don't mean to like toot my own horn, but like my Instagram looks bomb right now, guys. All right, so I'm currently in the middle of deciding between Beach Read, The Guest List, and Ask Again Yes. I got all of these samples, but this is what I'm reading. Um, for any of you guys who are new here, this is my Kindle Oasis. It's like literally my best thing that I've ever had in my entire life. Also guys, just think about my entire upstairs with hardwood floors and how absolutely incredible that is going to be. Like, seriously, it's just gonna be the best thing that's ever happened to me. So, tonight is a reading and relaxing night. Um, if you guys ever need book recs, I somehow got a twig up here. If you guys ever need book recs or anything like that, on my Instagram story, I have a highlight where I share like everything that I'm- Oh my gosh, good morning everyone. Can you tell I just woke up? It is Tuesday morning, it's early. I'm gonna go take the dogs on a walk and listen to a podcast. 
then Devo and do a little Melissa Wood health workout, my normal mornings. Today is exciting because we're actually touring houses for a video, so that video actually will have already been up by the time this vlog goes up. So that's really exciting, and then just got some work to do. This is what I'm wearing. This jacket, guys, is just like an Amazon Basics zip-up jacket, and these are the best ones ever. I don't know why I love these just like oversized zip-up jackets so much, but this is actually my favorite one, and it's really good for right now, like the summer and the mornings and stuff because it's super thin. So I'll have that link down below. Update on girlfriend. Um, the material is like really stiff. Like you can tell it's good quality. Sorry, I got water on. Um, and then these like pants. I really wanted the biker shorts, but they were sold out. So I got these. Um, they're great. They're also really good for summer because they're really, really thin, but not thin in the way that like the quality is bad. <laughs> Good morning guys, I'm gonna do um, a short little Devo this morning. I actually, guys, I swear on Amazon it says I've purchased this like eight times because I bought it for other people. I've always just had the ebook version, but I wanted the physical version. I'd already really marked out my ebook version and also I wanna be able to just take this with me and not have any technology. So anyways, very exciting. If you guys are looking for a new devotional, I've talked about this before. It is the best one you'll ever do, I promise. Like there's nothing better it is just it will change your life i've got like 25 minutes in to get a good quick workout um so i'm gonna do a quick like melissa wood health little flow these are actually really efficient like while it's a really short workout you actually are sore and it's like tough so okay so i'm actually gonna do the 30 minute back to basic pilates using your own body weights all right guys i'm ready i changed like 15 at times it's the high is only 90 today, so I'm wearing jeans, but also it's supposed to rain this afternoon. I don't know. It actually feels pretty good outside. I'm wearing this white misguided tank, and then these jeans are girlfriend denim. I had them taken in, but they're definitely a little bit bigger on my stomach, but I just think that they're really cool. And my mask and my bracelet here because I can't put it on myself. I'm going to take the dogs out really quick, and then Q is on his way to pick me up. We're going to get some... La La Land and then meet my realtor so we can go tour some places for this video which will be super fun. I'm gonna try my absolute best. For some reason sometimes I can get this on my wrist in like two seconds and sometimes it just isn't gonna happen but I want to try on my own. Keaton like does it with her teeth. <laughs> I'm just like not that good. <gasps> Got it! Look at me! I'm gonna show you guys my current Holy Grail lip products, okay? I have three, and they're just the best ever. First off, we have, of course, Summer Friday's Vanilla Lip Balm. This stuff is bomb. Like, it is the best lip balm you'll ever use in your entire life. For lip liner, I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, I believe. The Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk, yeah. This is their most popular. Um, it is so amazing. I've had it for a while, and I used to love it. I didn't have a sharpener until recently, so I've just now <laughs> been using it again. And lip liner, like, absolutely changes the game. And then, my favorite lip gloss. I will say this doesn't stay on, like, the longest. You have to reapply it, but it's, like, $5. It's the NYX Butter Gloss. And then this is in the shade... It's in the shade Madeline, which is actually my best friend's name. So... Anyways, I love this. I actually really need to go pick up another one, but it is just the best consistency. I love it. I have another one actually in here that I haven't even opened, so I should just see if I like this color, but it's just so much darker. Whew. So anyways, I'm just waiting for Q to pick me up, and we're going to get La La Land, which I'm really excited for. Also, so many of you guys have been going and getting the Strawberry Fields. Like, I get tagged in stories every day. It's absolutely incredible. I actually run into, like, multiple of you guys at La La Land, which is so funny, like, getting the drink. So, so glad that we're really making a mark in Dallas, guys. It's absolutely incredible. Also, look at my cute mask I'm wearing today. It's from Dip Dye Supply. They gave me, like, a whole set in all of this tie-dye stuff, which is so cute, and a matching mask, which I love. So, this is what I'm going to be wearing today as my mask. Can you guess what we're doing this weekend? Or guess who we have this weekend? Who we have? Bentley? Mm-hmm. Oh, baby! <laughs> Your hair looks really good. I like it like that. Mm. Okay, we're going to La La Land. He was trying to ruin my photo in there just now. It is really hot. We are on our fourth house. We're about to be on our fourth house. We're leaving the third. 
filming this great video. I'm the house hunter, queen of Dallas, guys. Okay, so I'm back from filming those tours. I need to film the sit down portion of that video and then I just have a lot of computer work to do today. So that's the plan. Tonight I have Zoom Bible study. I think I'm gonna make some salmon for lunch and broccoli because that's what I always make, but also I have stuff that I need to get rid of. Wow, so Q and I tag teamed. Um, you love the wine glasses for water, wine, but wine. salmon, broccoli, so cute. Just made some coffee, midday slump is hitting hard, playing some jazz. Ring light is just like... Action. Are you the director now or? Oh. Take, take two, actually take, take one. Okay guys, I just put my hair up because we knew that was gonna happen. I'm actually, oh my gosh. I recently got a ring light. I've always had ring lights, but um, I just haven't bought one for this house. So anyways, I got this on Amazon. I'll link it down below because it is by far my favorite ring light that I've ever had. Um, and then there's just a knob and you can decide how bright you want it to be. But I would really, really recommend this light. So I'll have it linked down below on my Amazon shop page just with like the rest of my equipment where if you guys are ever wondering what I use for podcasts, videos, whatever, everything is on that. So check it out. Guys, the edges literally still shows. It is currently 2 p.m. I'm fighting my midday slump. I actually asked you guys on Instagram for ways that you guys kind of beat your midday slump and someone said eye drops so i'm like that's actually genius and then cold lemon water and a quick little walk which will be great for me I, I actually drink cold lemon water and i go on walks all the time so i should combine the two at like 2 p.m um but anyways i've just been reading through those i'm actually about to put on something on my tv in my office which has been a game changer i just like having either music playing like music videos or like a news type thing or like a podcast on video or whatever that might be a vlog cast if you will today is another just obviously work day let us see i actually have a little bit of score to do i need to edit start editing the video from today i need to also work on some videos for my upcoming thing that we're doing really soon um i need to edit those i also need to prep for some videos on there so i need to like do a little bit of studying Liz is gonna come over tonight. We're gonna make dinner. We have Zoom Bible study. And then we are going to do some golden hour sunset pick. So that is the plan for today. I'm gonna knock out about probably like two or three hours worth of work. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you guys a quick unboxing. Liz is about to pick me up because we're getting canes for dinner. Um, some CBD. Ooh, I'll let you guys know how I like it. It's from Bloom Farm. Okay, so I got some new skincare. So this stuff. I actually really like the packaging and Q keeps talking about how he wants a new serum. So I'm actually gonna let him try this probably. We'll see, I wanna try it too, but I want him to kind of give us a little review. And I guess he had a white Comfort Colors tee sent to my house. If you grew up in Texas, this is like what you grew up wearing. Julia Havens has brought them back recently. So from Shop Black Hanger Boutique, guys, I got the cutest cruise that they just sent over. This Texas one, love, and then guys, there's a Dolly Parton one. Like, this is not incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Just got canes, Liz picked me up. We are going back to my house, hopefully to deal with some hose drama and then um, butt study. What a romantic dinner for me and Liz and our canes. Fitz is being rude and trying to distract me from my Bible study. So this is like probably not good parenting. Actually, he's not even being rude. He just needs something to keep his attention. This is his favorite thing. He made it really messy today. That's why it's dirty. Kong tire. Do you want this? Oh, you're so, oh, you're so cute. Here you go, you can take it, you can take it. There you go. So we just finished Bible study. We're gonna go shooting golden hour now. Love Texas. Tomorrow is actually like a summer day that we're gonna have that's fun. We're gonna go to the pool and just kind of hang out and relax. We have a lot of like, well, I don't know, I always say we because I'm referring to like me in the vlog, I think, but I have a lot of work coming up in the next few months. So, anyways, this stuff is absolutely incredible. I spray it every single day in my room. I've used actually I mean, a good bit of it. I've only had it for like two weeks, but it is so amazing. It like actually makes your room smell so incredible and it stays forever and it's just the best thing ever. So, I love this. Also, 
I did finally get the right parachute home duvets. I already, by the way, update hate my bedroom furniture. I'm so over it. So I'm in the, <laughs> I really want to do another 24 hour room makeover video, but like spending money is just like not what I should be doing right now. I really do love these pillows. I'll have them linked down below as well as the bedding. I get a lot of questions about that. Parachute home, so worth it. I have Brooke Linen um, sheets on the way. They're sending me them. It's like literally a dream come true. Cannot wait. Obviously, Barefoot Dreams. Oh, guys, by the way, with the uh, Nordstrom anniversary sale that's coming up, they have a ton of Barefoot Dream stuff on sale. So, just so you guys know, I'll be linking some for those of you guys who want one but don't want some money. Totally understand. I always buy them on sale. Okay, also, I want to talk about my book I'm reading. Okay, so I'm reading Beach Read. I'm already at, what am I at? Okay, I'm at 34%. Honestly, I could have stayed up all last night reading it, but I just wanted to make myself go to bed. Anyways, I love it so far. I didn't think I was going to love it this much. It is from the same author as One Day in December, if you guys have read that. I love that book. Um, it's just like a really quick, short read. So anyways, I'm gonna spray my beautiful scent in, oh my gosh, guys, like, what? Okay. Also guys, I'm wearing this. It's from, I forget the actual store name, is it local? It says, I think what a beautiful day to be alive. It's super cute. It's one of your stores. Um, I'll have this link down below. I bought it. I asked you guys about your small businesses in the Facebook group. So, love that. Um, if you guys haven't joined the Facebook group, join. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning. Today is a pool day. It's a chill summer day. So, Q and I are starting off our morning by going to the new La La Land that opened on Oakline. This is really, like, literally right by the reward style offices. Uh, where we um, anyways, they're half off all week, and I also want to see the new location, so... Very excited. Up now. Oh, I see the yellow. I see the car. Do you see the yellow truck? Maybe. Oh, it's my goody goody looker. So cute, guys. Cute. We're behind. The yellow truck, guys. Signature. Thank you. Wow, love. Okay, so Q now gets the strawberry fields. I've already mixed mine. Um, we went, it was so cute. So if I'm gonna compare the two places in like LA terms, that is more West Hollywood and then the Greenville location is more Studio City. What do you agree? Very true. The Greenville location is more of a neighborhood feel and then this one is, it's just like more upscale. Yeah, very, you know? very upper echelon, very like this is comparatively to gyms. The other one's kind of like a YMCA maybe. No, that is not true. No, not worse. even. Yeah. It's still really nice. It's just a totally different vibe. Q was more of like a city, you know, which I appreciate. And that's kind of more of where we are. In, in boxing terms, maybe that the other one's like prevail. This one's like rumble. Okay. I, yeah, but they're just totally different vibes. Yeah, like different vibes. Different okay. vibes. We love both of them, by the way. Yeah. Prevail's the best. Rumble's the best. I am, I, guys, I scrubbed myself tanner off last night, so hopefully that, you know, works out for me in the pool, because then the rest of it comes off. But I got the, I think it's the Everything Bagel. First time trying it, I just really needed something. I'm hungry. So, it smells, like, very strong. Guys, they just gave us this. Oh, <laughs> we'll cue this. That looks like the most beautiful, best cookie. cookie I've ever seen in my entire life. Ever. Wow. Hi, Harley. Guys, if you didn't know, this is the first the love of my life, Harley, my very first dog. She's a Labradoodle. I cannot believe you're graying. Also, please know what the strawberry fields. She has good taste in bags, but she's the best behaved dog ever. I say this as she's like busy with other things. Come here, Harley, come here. She is the best behaved dog ever, the sweetest dog ever. Fits do not do anything. Ugh, I want her to set him in his place, but she's old now. She's like 10 years old. Yeah. Actually, she might even be older than that, but. The first love of my life. Ah, oh, it actually feels so good. Oh my gosh. Wow. I, oh, hi Coco. I haven't been in a pool and like, I honestly couldn't tell you how long. It has been quite some time. Kinda wanna take Fitz in here today and see if he likes it. We will see. Um, Harley, Growing up was in the pool, um, not this house, this is not the house I grew up in, but was in our pool like literally every single day. Probably honestly like three times a day, especially in the summer because it's just so hot in Texas, but it was so fun because the dogs were always in the pool with us and it was a great time, but it feels actually incredible. I haven't even been in the pool in 
Couldn't tell you how long. At some point, I'm gonna do the Melissa Wood health workout. She just released one in the pool. Q, are you gonna get in? Yeah. It feels so good. I mean, it's like kind of wow, cold. I think he wants to come in the pool. Probably think I cannot, right? Probably. Hi, Coco. Did everyone name their pool cleaner Bob? Possibly. No, like literally all of my cousins, every single one, like these weird ones that just like go around while and stop, you know? That's cool. Pretty good. I know, it's real good. Ooh. Oh, wow. Fitz. Fitz, you're in the shot. I need to do a workout. Um, are you going to do the most of a hot workout? Yeah. <laughs> I'm here for it. Guys, Coco just asked <laughs> to come in basically. <gasps> Look uh, how cute. Oh. Fitz is. This is Fitz right now. I was going to like get, get rocked up in the hose. Well, I know. I had I did the same thing. It's Ooh. his first time in the pool. Ooh. Come on, boy. Can you swim? Ooh. Oh, you can swim. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's him, baby. Oh. Guys, oh. Fitz is actually such a good swimmer. He looks like chicken right now. Hey. <laughs> like. Oh boy, buddy. I wish it was like way hotter so they would dry off faster. It's a few hours later. We spent the morning and early afternoon at the pool. I went home, I showered, and now we are going to go get some food. So I'm so hungry. Everyone's wearing masks right here. Also, guys. I just put this on in the car. Incredible. It's the Maui Babe After Browning Lotion Tan Enhancer and Healer. So I didn't tan and I also didn't use the Maui Babe Tanning Lotion. I need the lighter one. I have the one that's too dark. I need the lighter one. Oh my gosh. When you leave the sun and your skin is so dry and it just feels, you know, awful, this stuff, 10 out of 2 would recommend. I will link it down below because this is like probably one of my... This is definitely a top fave product currently. It's just the best thing ever. I need to switch something in my newsletter so I can share this because I feel very passionately about this. So anyways, we're going to this place. I saw it on TikTok yesterday and they're having some sort of deal today. Um, I don't know. I saw it on TikTok, so here we are, guys. Guys, I just got home to the cutest bracelet. I'm getting way more into bracelets. I've always been like a necklace and rings person. You can't even see it at this point. Anyways, it's from at Beaded by Yaz. It's just so cute and it's gonna be really cute with my like other gold bracelet that I wear that I've been trying to wear every day. As we've discussed, well first off, I'm like first off, um, my Dyson vacuum was supposed to arrive today. It's still a don't wanna talk about it. But I ordered this from Amazon, bug bite thing. I have two of them. And it's supposed to alle help alleviate itching and swelling. It essentially it sucks out the venom from the sting, which if you guys saw the back of my legs, I, honest to God, I have at least 25 just mosquito bites, especially on the back of my legs. It's Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. There's a new episode out of my podcast, the Allie Smudge Podcast, with Renee Carlino. She's like, oh my gosh. She's one of my favorite authors. She actually wrote Before We Were Strangers, which is a really popular book that you guys have been reading as well. Anyways, it's 9.42 a.m. so far today. I woke up. Got with the children. I had someone come over to give me a quote for hardwood um, throughout my house because today is a like editing day, all that stuff. Um, I really, really need to go through and organize and clean my entire house. I'm not gonna do that today. I might do that this weekend. Honestly, I'm just waiting to like really be in the mood to do it and I can feel like it's coming. Oh my gosh, my groceries are arriving soon. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go do my Devo and then I'll show you guys the grocery haul. And I have to, um, oh my gosh, I'm doing like legit loads of laundry today. Also just all exciting things that you guys clearly definitely care about. I haven't had an iced coffee in like probably a month. Like it's just been sitting in my fridge. This stuff really just does something, you know? All right guys, my groceries have been delivered. Just kind of got the normal stuff, broccoli, celery, carrots, um, avocado, onion, apples. I'm gonna be, I just have a sudden craving for honey crisp apples and peanut butter. Lemons, carrots, my favorite yogurt, um, just some K-Cups, of course, white cheddar cheeses, some fruit. Okay, I just realized that I accidentally, I know I ordered this and I don't think I'm gonna like this. I just wanted normal oatmeal. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna try this through Bolognese. They were out of our normal stuff and this is their replacement. Also, I don't know why I got two peanut butter things. I meant to have one, but whatever. Davis bread, some olive oil, and then ground beef, ground pork, because I am making bolognese. 
I think tonight I just have been craving it and I just need some cooking time, you know? Um, and then some salmon, of course. So I'm gonna put all this away. You no, know, you just need to organize your entire house, like go through legit everything, fridge, everything. Like this will be a whole day project. Okay, I've been working out some stuff for the project that's coming up. I'm actually about to record. This is not for the podcast. This is for the thing that's coming up. I actually feel like the most annoying person in the entire world, but like, I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm really sorry. You guys have like a few days to wait, but um, I'm gonna record kind of like my faith journey and the whole experience. People have been asking for that for so long. I have a whole video up on that as well. Important to note, but um, this isn't for the podcast. This is for something else, which would be really cool. Hey guys, it's Kinsey. Today, I am going to be sharing, I am trying so hard to not say my testimony. I feel like testimony just sounds like a Southern Baptist church and you're making flyers in middle school to go hand them out on a mission trip. Like that's what that sounds like to me. Um, okay, my faith journey, my story. I also feel like this is the most me way that I could do it and the most chill and relaxed ways. I'm gonna give you guys um, a little bit more inside than I think I normally would on the internet. I just feel safer in here, you know? All right, guys. Um, it is almost 3 p.m. Hit export on tomorrow's video, which is the Dallas House Tours. If you guys haven't checked that out, um, I'm honestly hungry. I've been going back and forth downstairs just doing laundry and stuff. I can't decide if I want to relax tonight or if I want to just hammer things out and clean and organize. And if I'm in the mood, like, we'll see. I'm hungry, but I don't want to make food. So uh, here we are. I'm editing some photos for tomorrow. I'm just getting things ready. I think I'm gonna do a workout at like five or six. That's kind of the plan. Late afternoon snack slash lunch, really. Avocado toast, undazed bread, water. I got these cups on Amazon and okay, it fits. And I've just been drinking out of them nonstop. Why? Okay. I just put in another laundry load. I'm about to go upstairs and start with my bathroom and my closet. I actually have a box to throw product in. All right, guys, I'm gonna put a timer on. I'm going to get rid of actually so embarrassing i just threw stuff in here and this is just crammed for no reason i'm gonna put on a timer for 20 minutes and get through the bathroom look at how much better it looks already wow So I ended up just getting rid of everything on the floor that is probably to donate. I'm not really gonna go through everything just quite yet. I might make an entire video on, on that. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. But it's like very, very loosely color coordinated. I've been a color coordinating girl for quite some time and I think I wanna go back to categories. I would love for all my dresses to just be together, sweats, I don't know. You comment down below, you tell me what you prefer. All right guys, I'm actually gonna do a Melissa Wood Health workout. I just cleaned. I mainly just cleaned the upstairs. I washed all my sheets and stuff today, cleaned off that, cleaned out my bathroom, my closet. Feels a lot lighter. You know when you clean and you just feel better? Anyways, I'm gonna do a Melissa Wood Health workout just really quick. It's almost 4 p.m. I think, and then I wanna shower and self-tan. I'm gonna look crazy. So today I'm doing the 16 minute arms and 17 minute power abs with a ball. I don't have a ball, I use weights. Okay guys, so I'm cooking, I'm making my favorite bolognese, like, ugh. First off, I just wanna say, oh, this is really steamy, I'm really sorry. Maybe this will work better. Okay, I just wanna say that my workout in between at like 5 p.m. was really good, and I'm thinking that maybe I can start incorporating like a workout instead of in the morning, like either in the midday slump or after my work day to kind of break it up, I kind of like that. Anyways, I'm making my favorite bolognese. We've just been eating out so much. It doesn't matter if I'm cooking like really unhealthy meals. I just always feel better if I'm cooking, um, if I'm eating and cooking from home. So anyways, I just made my bolognese. I have the full recipe up on my IGTV. This is literally my favorite thing in the entire world to make. Also, I know I've showed this in vlogs so many times. This is the best marinara sauce you will literally ever have. Um, we're gonna watch, Q's gonna come over soon, and then we're gonna watch Dead to Me. Um, and then I think we're gonna go watch the sunset at my favorite part at White Rock. So that'll be fun. I'm just gonna let this simmer for about 30 minutes, and then you add in the heavy, you'll see in the video. Then you add in the whipping cream, um, and I'm about to 
probably boil my noodles in like 10, 15 minutes. In case you have a gallon of using the spirit of that you're at. Um. Wow guys, it looks so freaking dead to me guys. We started last night and I'm obsessed. Good morning everyone, it is Saturday morning. I didn't vlog it all yesterday. Listen to what I've done, okay? So I thought it was tough and I dry swallowed my Zoloft two nights ago, which honestly I'm so bad about that. Just with pills in general, I like lazy. I just take them when I remember, blah, 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 whatever. Whatever you do, if you take Zoloft or really anything, never dry swallow your pills. Ever, okay, I burned my esophagus, right? Which really, oh that sucks, like it literally the most painful thing I've ever been, it still hurts, I feel better. I'm pretty sure I had a fever yesterday, I was so sick, I like threw up, it was just rough. Um, so anyways, I'm feeling better today, however, my throat is not the best and we had so much we were supposed to do yesterday, but it's fine, like we can do it Monday. This is how you know I felt so bad. My Dyson vacuum came in and I didn't even unbox it, okay? Anyways, I'm going to show you guys my misguided haul, I got a few new pieces, and then my Dyson vacuum unboxing, which I'm so excited for. Oh, we're also, I don't even think I've vlogged this, we're also watching Bentley. If you guys are not aware, Bentley is my family dog. He's the favorite member of the family by everyone, friends and family alike. He's so perfect. Bentley. We love Bentley. We love you, Bentley. You're so perfect. Look at how perfect you are. Oh my gosh. Guys, okay, so I got the Dyson V8. I don't really care about having the newest, best thing. Also, I'm eventually gonna have hardwood all throughout my house, so it's mainly for the hardwood. Oh my gosh. Well, first off, obviously have to get the Instagram story. No, okay, it fits. I appreciate that, but this is not your time. Can you get out of my shot? No, are you joking? Fits, come. Oh my gosh. I'm a big dog household this weekend. We've got three dogs in this townhouse. Bye, Fitz. Love you. Fitz's behavior is on a downhill slope right now, guys. My Dyson V8. If you guys don't know, Dyson vacuums are like definitely really expensive, but everyone says it's like the best thing you'll ever buy, blah, blah, blah. Just a nice home investment. So this is um, my birthday present, really, but my birthday is not until August 1st. So just got it a little bit early. This is what you ask for, a really nice vacuum when you're turning 23, guys. Because I can't believe I'm gonna be 23. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's see what's happening here. Just everything about this is just so wow. Also, I got it on sale. Okay, there are so many different accessories, so I've gotta figure this all out and also organize somewhere where I'm gonna keep them. All right guys, the Dyson is charging. We are about to go do our Saturday morning coffee thing tradition that we have, but I wanted to show you guys what I picked up from my latest misguided order. They were having another sale, surprise, surprise, and I just needed basics, which I feel like I always need, but I feel like I am constantly ruining my basics. I got this black t-shirt, just a crop top. I will say this quality is actually really, really great. I got it in a size US 6. I would definitely recommend it. I just needed like an oversized kind of loose fitted t-shirt for those really hot days. I also got it in this beige color, which I really like. I thought this was super cute. It'll be fun to like accessorize and stuff. I got this bodysuit, which I hope I end up really liking. Um, I got this in a size 6. And I'm like in between a four and a six, so sometimes when I get bodysuits, it's like absolutely not. But I feel like this one I should have gotten a size four in, so just keep that in mind. I got this black bodysuit, which is just like a tank top bodysuit, um, just because I really, really desperately need a bodysuit. This has really convinced me that I do need to organize my closet by category and not by color. Um, and then I just got that in a size white. Uh, in a size white. In white. I will say, like, I don't know if. I saw this in person if I would have ordered it. Like, the quality is fine and everything, but I don't know. I mean, they are basic, so once I actually like, try them on and stuff, I'll have a better feel. I'm definitely gonna keep them. I got this cute white top that's like cropped, like right under your boobs, basically. I hope, like my chest is just big, so sometimes this stuff like just doesn't work for me. I just thought this was cute with something like super high-waisted. And then I got this top, which I should have sized down in for sure. I got this in a size six, and I should have gotten a size four. This is like more specifically for misguided. I feel like I'm in between sizes, but I got a size six just because I feel like it's more of the bust. So I don't know, it just looks like very wide. Do you see what I'm saying? But maybe it will fit, I don't know. To wear like just this and jeans and 
a cute pair of like heels or whatever sandals or I got this black crop top and not this black bodysuit which I already had but I got it in a size 4 and it's like way too tight so I got it in a size 6 it's just like a really easy black bodysuit this is my favorite thing that I got these shorts this is like super colorful and fun and then this like blouse and then I also have this tie to go around it but I just thought this was so fun it's super flowy as well so that is my misguided haul um, we're about to go head out and get some coffee and breakfast I think we're gonna go read um, with a lake view which is so nice I mean, what are you doing boy oh he's literally so cute oh you want the ball okay I have yet to meet a dog who loves this is what he's been trying to get who loves to fetch more than Bentley come on B maybe you can teach Fitz how to play come over here come over here ready B fetch he will play with you for, what is he doing? <laughs> he will play with you for hours and hours. And guys, also my dad is like the biggest Steelers fan ever. So he got Fitz a Steelers jersey, which is so funny. We're gonna have to take some photos of him, of him in it today. He's gonna outgrow it so quick. We're gonna see if Fitz likes clothes. Ooh, come here boy. Come on boy. Oh my gosh, you are so beautiful. Guys, his freckles, wow. Fits. Dad is gonna be so happy. Fits, come here, boy. Oh my gosh, you look so cute. Fits the football player. Fits, come here, boy. Let's show them. Let's show them. Oh, you look so cute. You really do. You really do look so cute in your little outfit. Yes, you do, boy. Yes, you do. Oh. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Are you excited? Do you want a puppuccino? I think the dogs want puppuccinos. Fitz boy. Guys, he actually really likes it. Like, he looks so cute. Okay, fetch. Ooh. Bring it back. Ready, drop. Okay. Thank you. You are so freaking cute. We're back from our nice morning. I didn't vlog, but I did post an Instagram photo if you guys want to see what we did. It was really relaxing, but I am I am so excited for this package I just got. So Junk Gold, I saw um, Brooke got a tank too, which is so freaking cute, guys. Okay, first off, look at this mask. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. And then this says KP, which I absolutely love. And then this says Kenzie. And it's just these tank tops. Guys, oh my gosh, support small businesses. I will have our Instagram link down below. Like just absolutely obsessed. I think these are so freaking cute and i'll be wearing them non-stop so again it is just junk gold that's the instagram and the info but i just think it is the cutest stuff ever i'm obsessed all right guys so it is now 2 p.m um, i've been editing this vlog i'm actually just gonna end it off here still not feeling my best we couldn't tell from the extreme low energy in the last few clips Anyways, that is it for this week of my life vlog. Let me know if you guys like daily or weekly. I feel like because I haven't posted a vlog in a week, I feel like I've been gone, but I've posted three other videos. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Q and I are going to work on the house hopefully later this afternoon and get some stuff done on the rooftop. So follow my Instagram because they're always saved to my home highlights if you guys want to see. But I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon.